Welcome back to a Zelda game. Last sure time, is a Zelda game. It sure is. Last time we beat up a dungeon. We went right in there and punched him in the nose. This time, we're gonna go right into another dungeon. Yeah, because there is literally nothing for us to do between the last dungeon and this dungeon. I we got the water walking boots and we can use them to come down here to this dungeon. I think it's because we actually went south a little bit and you can see it, but the river devil's there and it's not letting us go through anything. Yeah, there are technically two things that we could have gotten before this dungeon, but we got them before the previous dungeon because nothing was stopping us. So, onwards we go to the ocean palace. All right, fine, I'll do this stupid place. But I don't like doing it, but I do like doing it because it's the green one. Oh, did you know in the Famicom version that the palaces all had the same color? Oh, yeah. But that's and such was, a weird And it was thing. only the NES version that they, they enhanced it for the NES version a lot. It's the f thing I find so funny about some NES games is how they enhance them, but the soundtrack has to suffer because it doesn't have the extra audio channels that mm. like the, the disc system had. So the Ocean Palace is prob... It's our biggest palace yet, by a pretty sizable margin. And... You can go ahead and go. I know, I'm dancing the music. Oh, okay. um, however, there's a lot of, like, dead ends, I guess. Places you don't really need to go. I knew you were gonna do that, you little shyster. Aha, uh -huh, you can't shoot this far. Oh, crap. Yeah, I kind of forgot I had the down thrust, so... I kind of jumped it down, thinking I was just going to, like, skirt over and down. Yeah, scoosh over to him. Yeah. And it just turns out I just stabbed the whole the wall. Is that a bubble? It is. Count the stabs, kids, because I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot of health for 50 Jimmy Jams. I don't think you can jump that high. I think you have to ferry. I'm trying to see if I can pong him down here. Yeah, because then you're just going to jump up there and... No, no, get back here. We're killing you. I don't know why go. I fell through. That was weird. Hmm... Yeah, I don't think... Oh, you little son I, of a... I knew he was going to respawn. Respawn this, sucker! Yeah, you got to kill him in place or he's just going to come back. He does respawn. <gasps> Mother! What the crap? Yeah, yeah, I don't think jump can do it. It's fairy. Yeah, it has I think to you have there. to fairy. Eh, eh, eh. What if I hit B? A little fairy just grabs the key and starts dragging it along. Yeah, you can't unfairy, can you? Nope. That's a little butt. You have to screen move. Oh no. You have to screen move. Man. Got to screen that move. I hope that's not a stupid thing that's going to be used ever again. <laughs> oh, guys, did you screen move in the game? Oh, yeah, I screen moved in the game. I was like, fuck, son of a... Yeah, we're going to need that key. Well, that's why I came back, because that's the whole point. Yeah. Because you're supposed to be like, oh, I got a fairy up here, but I gotta get back for this whole mm -hmm. thing. I gotta get back. Back to the key. The adventure of Link. It doesn't work in the... <laughs> it doesn't work what I was doing. Oh, okay, yeah, this room's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt, because guess what? It's collapsible virgin Medusa heads. Not worth it. Not worth it. You made it. Maybe on the return. Hey, buddy. What you say about me? How does your sword go through that? Wow, two hits. Yeah, remember you don't outrange them, so having that block advantage on them really does not help. Why did I do that? I barely had any damage on me.
And you needed the key or you couldn't get through here. At least they don't make you go too far before you go, oh, I have to go get that curtain. Um, okay, so, A, there's a new enemy in this dungeon. And there he is. It's monks. It's all, all monks. monks. I would advise going left. Going to the right is effectively a dead end. It's mostly a bunch of ropes right up until you get to a slime dropper. And that's it. That's the only thing. I hate thing the fact that I have to ask is like, is it actual ropes or is it the snake ropes Snakes. that they named ropes? Snake ropes. How much experience are you worth? Whoa, jeez. Personal space, buddy. <laughs> I'm a monk. I don't no care about personal spaces. <laughs> Get perfect balanced. I hit you once. It's my victory. Is that, is that the fighting game equivalent thing? <laughs> where it's like, oh, I did the Hodoken correctly. I win. <laughs> I did the Hodoken and I... I I beat you, and it's like you come up against a, uh... Just completely decimates you, but you get, like, one hit in. It's like, I hit you once, I win! Oh, what's the, what's the, uh... The fighting game competition? Uh, Evo? Evo, yeah. It's like you get, like, this... Ooh, 200, though. I mean, get... they're a pain to fight. I wonder if you can fireball them. Probably not. You get, like, this Evo-level champion that you go up against, and you hit them once with the combo, and you're like, Ah, oh, I won! I hit you with the combo! And they, like... Decimate your life bars and destroy afterwards. Destroy you. Okay, those are large enemies, so they probably don't come back. Just gonna sneak under him. Oh, you're gonna do this, aren't you? Falling blocks, and you need that key. I have no idea how you're supposed to get to that other than, like, ferrying up to it or getting real lucky with the blocks. Yeah, I have to let the blocks form up in some way. I mean, you, again, you do, but, like, I feel like you've got to get real lucky with them. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm doing perfectly fine! Actually, it would have been fine on that last bit, but it had to, like, sucker punch me at the end. Yeah, just hang out for a minute. I knew it. <laughs> of course. I'm just gonna leave out this way and then come back in. Because it'll clear off all the blocks. You could break them underneath and they won't fall. Yeah, but it's more fun my stupid way. <laughs> You're also about to die, so keep that in mind. Ow. Okay, so good news and bad news. Blue. Iron Knuckle. No orange. But this statue up here has a red potion in it. I hate orange things. <gasps> <laughs> oh, Link just got cancelled. He hates orange things. Okay, so, from here, going to the right... More monks. ...is mostly pain. Well. But there is potentially experience, but I also don't know if you want to bother fighting any of the things over here just for the experience. There are... Yeah, there's a monk, there's cheap cheeps, there's red iron knuckles, wild cheap cheeps. I hate the fact that you say cheap cheeps and my brain has to go through 
gymnastics to go like, oh, he's talking about the skeleton things. But the skeleton things are based off the AI pattern from the cheap cheeps in those games. And yeah, they I, are just cheap cheeps. Blah, blah, blah. And then my brain's just like, oh, I keep forgetting that these ba these games were basically almost made at the same time. Yeah, so there's two red knuckles that you have to fight while fighting cheap cheeps over destructible blocks. Not collapsible, just destructible. And there's a blue iron knuckle. What do I get out of that? Um, a red potion. And experience, I guess. <sighs> I don't know if it's that I, worth it. I would not go... I would not even begin to go that way. That blue iron knuckle on its own will do more damage to you than... Is worth it. Yeah. And just imagine trying to fight red iron knuckles while fighting cheap cheeps. Like, you're gonna get... You're gonna get beat up. Um, there are three monks over here, though. And thankfully, right in here, there is a... slime spawner. I knew it. Well, you can go try to kill those monks, I guess. <laughs> really? I was gonna say, what is the point of the fucking sword beams if it's just <laughs> gonna be like, eh, halfway through? Even the slimes are immune to them. I'm assuming the only way you can get that is by jumping. Probably. Sorry, my nose is itchy for some reason. And a locked door! Wait, it can just go straight through? Which means we have to go down! Uh, where is the key? I need to get better at the how you beat the monks, because I feel like they're going to be a thing. Okay, so going down here, if you go left, there's a pee bag. You have to get through that guy, but there's a pee bag behind him. I mean, how much tougher is he in comparison to when we first fought him? Yeah, that'll be good enough. And a speedy boy, I guess. I guess. Uh -oh. oh no, he got free! Just get out of here. I've deleted him. Um, I would not bother taking the elevator down anymore. It's mostly a lot of pain with the reward of a red potion. There are slime spawners, medusa heads, bubbles, and two red iron knuckles. <laughs> not the worst, all things considered. <sighs> but I want to keep exploring further right. Um, Wait, you so, said... so, yeah, you do want to go right this way. Yeah. So we have our first key. And monks! It's all monks. You think this is where they got the idea for them? <laughs> I wouldn't push too far. Well, it may be a different screen. I don't know. It's probably a different screen. I just need to... There has to be a f better way to deal with these guys, because they put their... You can kind of tell where their fire gets pushed out. The hard part is, is that they only are around for one down stab. Yeah. And you kind of have to have them count on them to spawn close by. Oh, you can stick them around for two. Don't disappear yet, McKenna. You can disappear. <laughs> Have my butt. That is real heckin' good experience, though. My butt is flaming! I like, if you want to grind off of these guys, that's what you do. They're pretty close to the start of the dungeon, too, if you really wanted to. I miss Sabon. You're backsliding. <laughs> my backsliding do. <laughs> hmm.
Oh. Also, kind of butts that if they're not like right next to you, you just can't hit them. Eh, it's just how they program them in. I mean, admittedly, if they're that far away, they also can't hit you because their fire only goes like three blocks in front of them. Yeah. Ugh. I'm he's, gonna... ha he's having a good time. Yeah, I think he's trying to figure out how his programming works. It's not working out so well. Just keep that on there, because these guys actually really hurt. There we go. Alright. And then we go into the next room for a really big surprise. Calm down, dude. If he just if he just shot out swords like half as often. Half the time he's not even done with his friggin' stabbing animation before he's stabbing again already. And it's a dead end! Oh wait, but if only I didn't pay attention and know that somebody said something about there being false walls. Yeah, somebody in town said there was a false wall. No, monks! More monks! More monks! Should be... three of them in this room if you can tick them all off. There's also a slime spawner if you need juice. I do need juice. Do you think this is partially the reason why magic's not really that good later on in the series? It does make you wonder. Because, like, even Link to the Past, like, everybody goes like, oh, Link to the Past is great. You had, like, three magic spells, and you barely use them. Oh, you do have, like, the fire rod and the ice rod, though. Yeah, but those are magic items. Not like magic spells. Yeah, I mean they're not spells. It's like it's the difference between like if you're. I playing, mean, I guess if you think if about you're it, playing bomb. like a, if you're playing a wizard and you throw a fireball versus you have a magic glove that throws fire. I guess if you think about it, the medallions are also medallions. They're not spells. Yeah, but they're supposed to kind of give you the spells. Like you use the medallion in much the same way you use the rod. Yeah, it's the same thing with Ocarina of Time. It's like you use those f spells the cr spell crystals the same way, basically, as the medallions. Though, like, apparently in pre-release stuff, they were supposed to be the actual medallions. But I think those got reworked into the... Oh, you showed up. Okay, so your options... If you choose to accept them. If you them, so choose to accept them, yeah, are A, deal with that monk. I will deal with that monk. He's got experience I need. Keep jumping into my stabby sword. Oop. Oop. <laughs> Come on, monk. Yeah, just go ahead. Spawn right there. See how that'll work out for you. He drops a red potion, but it falls down. <laughs> <laughs> like the fireball just going. <laughs> yeah, because I'm going to be honest with you. I don't, I don't think magic in any Zelda game has been worth it. Yeah. If you can tell me otherwise. I mean, again, I'll cite something like the magic rods. Like, yeah, and even, that's that's fair. Like, but, those are good, but that's not like a spell spell. Yeah. But, I, but that's kind of my point. It's like the magic items, yes, they work perfectly fine. Um, so if you so choose to accept it, they in the next room to the right, there are two monks and a red potion. And also those guys who hit you and take your experience. Oh, the kangaroo mice things. So the red potion is actually in one of the destructible blocks. I'm about to level up. Um, a bit over to the right. Not that one. I'm trying to make sure. I think those... it's this far right one. Nope, back left. Or, or uh, I want to kill the monk first. Yeah. Kind of hard to kill monks in here. What? 
I like how I will always have a delayed reaction to that, because it's easier for me to watch the recording of it than it is to watch you playing live. So, like, I jump, but that's, like, a second and a half after it happened. All right. This one? I think. Maybe? Did this lie to me? I hate the things that steal your, M your XP, but don't give you any XP. I think this thing lied to me. Oh, there's more room. I mean, unless it's in that statue. Otherwise, this lied to me. That's just me hitting the wall. Yeah. I think it lied to you. Well, buts. Well, if you want to go up, up with no health and no magic, there are three uh, Stalfos up here. Well, on the plus side, they go down like a bitch. <laughs> Ooh, I found it. <laughs> it was there the whole time in a skeleton. That's where it was. Yeah, we'll, we'll deal with this. And your prize is a key. Oh, is this on the other side of that one death room, you were kind of like, is there for, like, a pee bag? Uh, yes. Red potion, actually. Hmm. You have two keys now, right? Three keys. Three keys? Ooh. There's one I picked up by jumping. Okay, because we are next stop. Where are we going next? Oh, uh, we're going back to that elevator. Oh, I already went back to the elevator. Back to the other elevator. Back, back, back to the back to the elevator. Back to the back elevator? Yeah. I just leave this one as the one that has the red potion in it. Son of a... Just didn't spawn the first time for some reason. Eh, this is NES programming. It's so funny how, like, the old games had, like, so much stuff that was supposed to work, and then you just realize, oh, right, this is an NES we're working off of. Yeah. Oh, that actually barely functioned. Yeah. This one? Yep. And we're going down. And guess what we get to encounter? Other than these guys, there's more monks! Monks? It's all monks. Those guys just spawn forever. Those guys just spawn forever. Whoop. Whoop. Should be three monks in here, I think. And like one of them's gonna level me up. But I also kinda wanna make sure I'm just at a point where I don't have to deal with the spawning server's heads. in this room. Hmm. I'm starting to think it may be a good idea to destroy some of those blocks. But how am I going to chicken shit out of my way? <laughs> hey, got him. Oh, life will go up. Oh, man, I got 4,001 out of 4,000. I can't level up off of that. It has to be exact. <laughs> out of here I go. I guess if you want to farm an entire other level off of the remainder of this dungeon. 
go on. Um, otherwise, experience doesn't matter so much right now. Yeah, no, we're pretty much done. Oh, man, if I had some magic, I'd probably jump up and hit that thing. Uh, there is, in fact, a red potion in that. And guess what you get to find in here? A blue one? <laughs> hey! Who told him? Who ruined the surprise? See, this is an appropriate speed, I feel. That's not. Calm down. Hey. Just master key having son of a gun. I think it's three or... F what am I at on him? Because... Yeah, that was three. I think it's five hits from down with him. Which, considering most of the other times was like four hits, it's like a plus. I'm gonna pull him back a little bit farther because you keep getting him stuck in the... Hey, get back here. Four. So does he just get real angry after you hit him, maybe? It is, he gets real angry after you hit him. Hey! And we get... A flute! A trumpet! Is it a trumpet? I don't know, it's got a big old cone on the end, so you can go... <laughs> with it. <laughs> like, you just fill it up with jam, and then just wait for the your big solo, and just go... <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's like a clarinet. I think it's supposed to be the flute from the original game. Okay, so now that we have that, we are backtracking a very long way. <laughs> that was basically it. That's how they landed on Muffin Time. And now we're going left, because we have a key now. <gasps> I like keys. Well, not too bad, because you're not going to have one in a minute. Not the bats, though. Why don't they name the keys bats? I don't know. Like, really screw with people. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? The monks. Yep, that's that. It's more monks. Got him up there. Yeah, he you can't was... get to without a jump spell. He was named Guma. The blue armor guy was called Hell Guma. Uh, and then the boss, they when they brought over the boss, they just named him Guma, and this guy lost his name. Okay, so... Okay, that worked. I mean, what's he gonna do, come no, after me? No, I, I was gonna say, in the statue over there, there's a red potion, but I think you also have... Well, maybe you could upstab to it, but you don't need it right now, so don't get it. I was just trying to remember, what statue? I didn't even see it when I went by. Yeah. Um, so I was gonna say, like, let's just power through some. I would go... There's a pea bag to the left, but I don't think we're gonna get a level before the end of the dungeon, no. so it may not be worth the trouble. I mean, if I grant, if I came back, if I did the whole grinding thing of, like, going to those monks at the beginning, ground off of them. But also, at this point, we're kind of, like, life is maxed. We don't have to worry about life anymore. Yeah. It's just, and we have... This palace and the next palace. How so much that's experience did the Iron Knuckles give you? Two levels. The blue ones gave me 150. 150? The, so red, the red ones are probably 100 and the orange ones are probably 50. I think the orange ones were still 100. Still 100? I so think. So red ones are also 100? I believe they were that too, yes. Okay, so that's what? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I mean, just do the bare minimum, what you think. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14. There's maybe 1,400 experience left. Yeah. But no, is that... 40, 15, 16 with the pee bag. You'd have to leave and grind. Yeah, that's the thing. Cause like because the... even that's only going to get you to, like... Because the, the only thing I would say half, is that... Maybe, like, halfway to the next level. I would... Th this is what I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. Because we have one more dungeon to do, and we're going to level off of this one, is if... When we're done with this one, we will have two levels we need to get. Because we're going to get one more level. And it's going to either go true. into sword only, and magic. We're almost maxed. Yeah. And then the next dungeon, we will gain one level within it. And then gain another level afterwards. So we don't really need to grind off of anything. It's just basically do the dungeons and get out of there. Yeah. 
Yeah, so no con no immediate concern. If you go left, there's a red dark nut and a 200 point pea bag. We want to go down where there are monks. But right now I want to go left because you've told me there's things to kill. I and mean, a red dark nut and a pea bag that you don't need and <laughs> is really not going to do anything but drain your resources. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Ow! Didn't even let me let me lead the end of sentence before it hit me. It can it can drain your resources. Ugh. In what world is that gonna happen? I'm killing the bubble at the same time. We may be at a bit of an impasse. <laughs> Somebody's gotta go back and get a shitload of dimes! <laughs> It is not worth the trouble. Hit them off at the pass? I hate that cliché! Down? Yeah, just go down. I'm not even gonna bother, it's gonna be a statue or something. Oh. I don't think there's anything in that one. Oop. I feel like you should be able to downstab that fire. At least let me It doesn't make any sense. At least let me pogo off of it. Yeah, like just to just to not get hurt by it. Like, oh no, it's coming, and I don't really have much choice. Also, be cool if that bubble weren't right there. I was really hoping that monk wouldn't be, like, right in my face as I was trying to smack the bubble. <laughs> and then he was like, Aha! He's smacking the bubble! <laughs> Get him, boys! He's smacking the fo- He's <laughs> smacking the bubble! Get him, boys! <laughs> he unblurred the temple. <laughs> Rattle him, boys! <laughs> Favorite thing from last year. <laughs> You cannot top that, because skeletons, I love skeletons. Yeah. Don't the, know what is. The rattle em pun. Oh, the rattle em pun, that somehow they're gangsters. That they know... That it's contextual to, like, you. you to you looking at it. Yeah, because, like... Like, that's the best part. It's specifically that Twitter filter, right? Because that whole, like... I thought it was the Discord filter. The Discord filter? The spoil... Oh, I, spoil I saw tag on Discord. I saw it from Twitter first. I mean, it could be either. Uh, Twi uh, honestly, it could be either. Twitter's got a uh, sensitivity nudity yeah. thing for it, so it's like, if you do that, and then you just uncensor it. But it's just, it was just that funny, like, They unblurred the photo! Rattle them, boys! <laughs> So you get to have a lot of fun with Dark Nuts in here. I could just jump. I wouldn't. <laughs> Why wouldn't you, friend? Because that's where the Dark Nut is. There's also a blue one down here. Oh, can I jump over that one? Um, Maybe if you try real hard, actually. Like, push him back in there. And then get over here. Oh, I'm having such a flashback to another playthrough. Just fucking break, you damn block. And then just run. But the experience. Don't. <laughs> but the experience. Don't worry, if you want to fight a blue Dark Knight, you'll still have your chance. Honestly, I don't. I really wish, like... I just... I just need the power, because at this point, like, they take five per, and the other ones are, like, two and done. It's, like, kind of a little annoyingly stupid. Because it's, like, it doesn't math correctly. Because, like, if the red ones took three shots, there, I'd be fine. Mm. But it's, like, no. the All of them take two now. And... The blue ones still take five shots. Going up and fighting the dark nut. 
technically an orange nut. I don't know how you're gonna... I don't know how you're gonna kill him. Can you fireball him? Well, I guess nobody's here now. <laughs> it's, the, it's the Metal Gear problem, and you go up into Wongo. And then you leave, <laughs> and they're like, What was that noise? Well, I guess nobody was there. Yeah, like, unless you can get in there. Because, like, even if he goes, like, oh, over there, it's like I come up can and he's you, like... <gasps> can you scoot up just, like, a hair so he lowers his shield, but you're still... And then can you, like, fireball him in the back? I don't think fireball works on these guys. It's worth a try. I don't know what else to do. Hey, is it worth the magic? It's cheap. Hey, guess what? Fireball doesn't work on them. Yeah, but you can scoot him further away from yourself. Get over there. No, stop walking back. Yeah, that's right. Get over there. Actually, you can tell because he's supposed to go all the way up to the yeah, thing. Hey, yeah, it's working! The strategy is working! <laughs> if he off-screen despawns, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be hysterical just, about it. Yeah, just despawn him. No, oh, no. you can't hit him anymore. Yeah, you hit the edge of the screen. Can you walk to the right at all? I meant right. Oh, the right. Y sorry. Your other right. Aw. Well, that the... may be enough once he gets over to get in there. There we go. Yeah! And Son of a... One. You, you lied to me. May want to think about healing. I don't, do I have the magic for it? Sure, you, you got three bars. No, I do not. Oh, crap. Three bars does not count anymore. I thought three bars was that, how much it cost. Oh well. Man, I want, they want me to do a rhythm game with those things and they just do not realize they're talking to a white guy. We got lives, it's fine. Mm, I less lives now. Well, all we have to do is get through this boss, then it doesn't matter. Is there a boss up ahead? Oh, of course there's a boss, there's a dungeon. Oh no, I mean, like, is the boss up ahead? Yes. There is, in fact, one more dark, one more dark note. Just don't die to him. You know, at this point, I can't guarantee anything. Well, heal or something, and then you can go back and get that red potion. Don't go, don't go, don't go. They're good, they're good All lord. Right. Do you know how much more of the dungeon I have to go through to get that blue potion? Now nah, turn around. Oh. What red potion? The red potion in the statue with the guy with the hammer, bro. Oh, the doom knocker, or not the doom knocker? Fans call him something else. The fart knocker. That's what he's called. Yeah, that one. Oh. Oh, of course he drops one, too. This thing? Yeah, it's in that statue. There we go. I mean, full health. Sure, growing. <laughs> make sure that if we wake up at 12, make sure the... Make sure the corn's not growing. <laughs> okay, I don't know what this guy does. Don't well, know what he does. I, yeah, I shield up and then hope for the best. Oh, it's actually Guma. Yeah, Guma. <laughs> He's got a mace. I don't know how you fight him. But I gotta hit him in the head. Okay, well, how you fight him is you do way better than what I'm doing right now. So it's actually suggested to use the jump spell. Why? I don't know. Maybe you just get out of the way faster? Oh, you have to hit him in the body. Really? Not the head? 
You said that jump spell? Yeah, I I think that's like you hit him and then jump. Uh, I can see where they're going with that. Oh, what? <laughs> hey, get back here! I mean, if I erased his mace, that's hilarious, but... Oh, up there it is. It's probably just to get out of the... Yeah, no, I can see where it comes from. Yeah, I can... It's like you just... I see what... I see where they're going with this. I get what they're picking... I'm picking up what they're throwing down. No cap, no cap, for real, for real. <laughs> Am I hu young and hip yet? <laughs> Um, so you can actually time your jumps, if you need to. Because you can see how he, like, spins it around and then throws it. Yeah, no, I got that. But I also killed him, so... Strategy doesn't matter when you're dead! Boop. What if I just left? <laughs> 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 